Thanks for visiting my channel and checking out this weekly blues guitar tutorial. So this time around I'm going to be talking about a Chicago blues 12 bar progression. It's in the key of A major and it's incorporating many things. Chords, some double stops and some picked note sequences as well. So we'll get started with the example and then I'm going to follow it up with the tutorial. And remember if you enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel and uh, giving me a like. All right, we'll get started. Starting things off with four bars on the one, so I'm playing four bars off of the A chord. Okay, so I've got a little lead up, a picked lead up, and that's chromatic. I'm hitting a double stop and I'm playing this chord. I happen to be playing it with my thumb on this. I'm hammering on to the major third and forming a double stop as part of my dominant seventh A chord. Okay, so there's quite a bit going on there. So I'm doing that for four bars. So after the four bars on the A or the one chord, I'm going to go to the four. And my four is a D7. And I'm going to come into that chromatically as well. All right, so I'm chromatically coming into my D7. So that's the D7. And then I'm going to do a slide into the D9. Okay, so that's a D9 right over there, and I'm going up a full tone, sliding the top three strings. Back to the one. Okay, so that's for two bars on the one. The last four bars of the 12 bar progression is a 5, a 4, a 1, with a resolution back to the 5 chord. So in this case, I'm going to be doing some alternate picked chromatic notes based off of the blues scale. I'm lightly muting the notes and I'm following things up with a turnaround lick which takes me back to the 5. So here it is, really slow. <laughs> into the next 12 bar section. So here it is a little quicker. All right, so you can build up the speed just starting slow and uh, inch it up bit by bit. Whether you're practicing examples on your own, jamming with somebody, or playing with a band, it's obviously really important to end a song or a piece. And I'm a big fan of always including some kind of ending. It doesn't have to be that sophisticated or complicated, but it's really important to have a tight ending. So my example uh, has this ending. <laughs> So there's a bunch of chromatically alternate picked notes and it's leading me into this, into the 
this ninth chord where I'm ending things, very common way of ending uh, a blues. Alright, so here it is, up to speed. Alright, so once again, starting slow and building it up to speed. It makes for a good alternate picking exercise as well. I'm lightly muting the strings with my right hand in this case. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember that on my playlist, there's lots of other blues guitar tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like as well. And we'll see you next week for another blues guitar lesson.